make a state. 2025 Nissan Altima. Price range, $27,000 to $34,830. Pros. Easy to drive nature. Good fuel economy. Cons. Poor outward visibility due to low resolution backup camera and thick roof pillars. Steering lacks road feel and can be slow to respond. Disappointing interior quality. Lacks a hybrid powertrain option. What's new? New SV Special Edition Package Turbocharged engine is discontinued. Part of the 6th Altima generation introduced for 2019. Overview The Nissan Altima is one of the midsize sedan class oldest nameplates, battling the Toyota Camry and Honda Accord for family sedan supremacy since 1993. The 2025 Altima might not be the best in its class but it's still a viable pick. We like the Altima's straightforward design high fuel economy and solid value. But a number of rivals offer the same strengths alongside a more comfortable ride, superior performance, or a more sizable cabin. Edmunds Spotlight, turbocharged engine is discontinued for 2025. Previously, Nissan offered a 248 horsepower turbocharged engine in the Altima. It's gone for 2025, leaving only the base 188 HP engine. For most shoppers, this is probably fine. The base engine is powerful enough for routine driving and gets pretty good fuel economy on the highway. What we'd really like to see is Nissan offer a hybrid option. Other sedans with hybrid powertrains are just as powerful as the Altima and get considerably higher MPG in the city. Competitors to consider The aforementioned Accord and Camry are the class all-stars, with the latter switching to hybrid-only power for its 2025 redesign. We also think the Kia K5 and Hyundai Sonata siblings are worth checking out. Both are stylish and offer high-performance engines that pump out nearly 300 horsepower. Read our test team's in-depth expert rating below to find out what they think of the Altima's tech, comfort, fuel efficiency, and more. Performance How does the Altima drive? The Altima won't win you over with stellar acceleration or braking. Our test all-wheel drive Altima had the 2.5-liter engine, and it accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an unremarkable 8.4 seconds. The CVT automatic is well tuned, however, and helps make the Altima an almost invisible partner during day to day driving. Another bright spot is the stable handling. You'll have confidence guiding the Altima through fast, sweeping curves. But this handling prowess underscores the Altima's overly light and vague steering. Comfort How comfortable is the Altima? The Altima is a calm place to sit out daily traffic. The front seats are generally comfortable, but some drivers might wish for more thigh support. Engine noises are commendably well isolated even under hard acceleration. Less appealing is the constant stream of little impacts you'll feel when driving over rough road surfaces. The Altima's ride seems continuously busy in these instances, and larger impacts can be pretty jarring. How's the interior? The interior lacks style but it more than makes up for it with straightforward usability. In particular, the climate controls and touchscreen functions are clearly labeled and easy to reach. Though most of the Altima's sight lines are good, rear visibility is hampered by the high rear deck lid. Also problematic are the low-resolution rear-view camera and the distracting reflections off the dashboard and rear deck lid you'll see in the windows during bright sunlight. How's the tech? The Altima we tested had the big 12.3-inch touchscreen. It comes with wireless connectivity for both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and an onboard navigation system. Though the screen's size and responsiveness make it seem modern, it's let down by software that looks and feels outdated. The navigation system's functionality is solid, it responded well to voice commands in our tests and easily found destinations, thanks to searches powered by Google. But the map's graphics look old and dated. Plug in your phone and use either Google Maps or Apple Maps and those maps look super sharp, so it's not a problem with the screen itself. The backup and surround view camera displays are also low resolution and hard to see, especially when you're trying to use them at night. The Altima's Pro Pilot Assist system, which includes lane centering and low-speed adaptive cruise control, is quite the bonus. The adaptive cruise control works very well, needing little correction in traffic. How's the storage? The Altima's trunk isn't the biggest in the class, 
but it can still accept a few full-size suitcases. Its squared-off shape also makes it easy to load to the maximum capacity. The folding rear seats are standard fare but can only be released through a pull tab in the trunk. They must be lowered by physically pulling on the seat back from the inside they don't automatically fold when released. Front passengers have ample storage for small items. However, the cup holders are a bit shallow for taller bottles. How's the fuel economy? We tested the all-wheel drive Altima, which the EPA estimates gets 30 mpg combined. It posted an impressive 34 mpg on our mixed driving real-world evaluation route. Odds are you can expect to get pretty good fuel economy from the Altima. Is the Altima a good value? Roomy and comfortable with the option of all-wheel drive, the Altima proves it has some distinctive value in the midsize sedan class. Warranties are middle of the road, as is the roadside assistance offering. A strong showing with highway fuel economy could tip the scales for long-distance drivers as could the all-wheel drive for those who live in areas with inclement weather. But some spots of poor build quality and a lack of attention to detail set the Altima back where it can least afford it. Gaps where the dashboard meets the windshield, and a hood design that makes it look out of alignment, stand out when it's compared to better built competitors. It's nice to see just how normal the latest generation Altima really is. That's not exactly a ringing endorsement, but the experience of driving and living with the Altima is generally more than the sum of its parts. The class is fiercely competitive and it takes a pretty good car just to be mid-pack. The Nissan goes about tackling daily driving without much effort from the driver and provides passengers ample comfort. Which Altima does Edmunds recommend? We suggest opting for the well-equipped SV model. The sporty SR model looks good, but the money you save by sticking with the SV can be put toward the long list of features you get with the optional premium package or toward the optional all-wheel drive system if you need it. Is the Nissan Altima a good car? The Edmunds experts tested the 2025 Altima both on the road and at the track, giving it a 7.5 out of 10. Edmunds consumer reviews show that the 2025 Altima gets an average rating of 4 stars out of 5, based on 29 reviews, what about cargo capacity? When you're thinking about carrying stuff in your new car, keep in mind that the Altima has 15.4 cubic feet of trunk space. And then there's safety and reliability. Edmunds has all the latest NHTSA and IIHS crash test scores, plus industry-leading expert and consumer reviews to help you understand what it's like to own and maintain a Nissan Altima. What's new in the 2025 Nissan Altima? According to Edmunds car experts, here's what's new for the 2025 Nissan Altima. New SV Special Edition Package Turbocharged engine is discontinued. Part of the 6th Altima generation introduced for 2019. Is the Nissan Altima reliable? To determine whether the Nissan Altima is reliable, read Edmunds' authentic consumer reviews, which come from real owners and reveal what it's like to live with the Altima. Look for specific complaints that keep popping up in the reviews, and be sure to compare the Altima's 4-star average consumer rating to that of competing vehicles. Is the 2025 Nissan Altima a good car? There's a lot to consider if you are wondering whether the 2025 Nissan Altima is a good car. Edmunds expert testing team reviewed the 2025 Altima and gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Our consumer reviews show that the 2025 Altima gets an average rating of 4 stars out of 5, based on 29 reviews. Safety scores, fuel economy, cargo capacity and feature availability should all be factors in determining whether the 2025 Altima is a good car for you. How much should I pay for a 2025 Nissan Altima? The least expensive 2025 Nissan Altima is the 2025 Nissan Altima 2.5 S4DR sedan, 2.5 L4CYL CVT. Including destination charge, it arrives with a manufacturer's suggested retail price, MSRP, of about $27,000. Other versions include 2.5 S4DR sedan, 2.5 L4CYL CVT, which starts at $27,000. 2.5 SV4DR sedan, 2.5 L4CYL CVT, which starts at $27,430. 2.5 SR4DR sedan, 2.5 L4CYL CVT, which starts at $28,830. 2.5 SV4DR sedan AWD. 
2.5L4CYL CVT, which starts at $28,930. 2.5SR4DR Sedan AWD, 2.5L4CYL CVT, which starts at $30,330. 2.5SL4DR Sedan, 2.5L4CYL CVT, which starts at $33,330. 2.5SL4DR Sedan AWD, 2.5L4CYL CVT, which starts at $34,830. What are the different models of Nissan Altima? If you're interested in the Nissan Altima, the next question is, which Altima model is right for you? Altima variants include 2.5 S4DR sedan, 2.5 L4CYL CVT, 2.5 SV4DR sedan, 2.5 L4CYL CVT, 2.5 SR4DR sedan, 2.5 L4CYL CVT, and 2.5 SV4DR sedan AWD, 2.5 L4CYL CVT. For a full list of Altima models, check out Edmunds Features and Specs page. Words you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains that last, and to believe in what you got. It was built to last. Yeah. Now that I've been put through hell, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. But the fake is, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love.